Hello and welcome. My name is Sheep Thief and today I'll be coming at you with some Assassin's Creed 1 single player computer game gameplay. Uh, this will be episode 2 and we'll begin now. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Alright, I think we already did this. They have an argument. Um, saving this game is really weird. So, let's just try it again. I appreciate your questioning my authority in front of the prisoner. There's a word for that. I believe it's called insubordination. And I don't appreciate you trying to kill him. There's a word for that thing. I think it's called stupid. No kidding. This isn't my decision. I don't set the deadline. But I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like Layla? I know the accident has everyone on edge. Which is why there's no time to coddle him. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down. And then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. You just need to have a little faith. Fine. But I want you thinking of ways to improve his staying power. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. It's bad enough we have to trace through all of these useless memories. I'll do what I can. Alright, yeah, so we already heard that, and... But actually that'll be, uh, good for anyone who's just catching up. I tried last time to sneak into this place, but it looks like there's an invisible wall. We're done wall for today, here. Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Damn it, they locked the door. Looks like a nice bed. Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it then? <laughs> now that would be telling. So this is where we left off. Um, not really going to talk that much, but uh, here we go.
time use stealth kills to create a distraction. I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. Manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market.
I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. Just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. will be opened to the truth. We stand upon the threshold between this world and a new one, a better place where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. Two days attack was but the first, and more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Macro. It's beating the shit out of me. Enough! I yield! I yield! Speak quickly then. I have no interest in your games. Why did hands. you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We. 
who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. It takes time to draw another blade. Ensure your first attack is also your last.
tall structures to gain a bird's eye view. Get him! 
Sure, if I care about these, uh, Entering a strong attack will leave your enemy fall.
only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. These are dark days indeed. Time soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. This is an ill omen. I have many things, many things. Well, my friends, the Shaitan is everywhere, watching, waiting. He helps us always. Be strong! Strong like Salahani! Come on, come on! No, cut for the English there. king and his infidel army! You'll find they leave everything here, right? There's nothing! Salahani rides to meet him! The king's father attack might be avenged! Go away! That 
will pay for your life! Stop it, please! Infinite, you wish to die! City's freaking out. Relax. Holy shit, it's a, it's a total disaster. Dead bodies everywhere. Recent business have been poor. It seemed there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had. Fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. Looks like I'm lost. As Tamir drove his caravan north, God he came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Damn it. Didn't want to be back here. We have no choice. choice. You must die. I know this city well. I will find all of you. That's him. Yes. 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 This is a nightmare. Uh oh, those things are strong. Uh oh. Time to go. Templars. Run. Well, the city of Damascus knows there's an assassin in town now. Who 
Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for. I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the Souk district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small Souk northeast of here, the Madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of this bureau. Focus on these places and he should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done? Yes. Come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Altair, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. Your life is now.
you came along when you did. Another minute and they would have made off with me. What happened here? Something? Good day, my I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Many things, too many things. You, sir, I you have never tried anything, anything to the other one. You'll find everything here, here my friend. Good day, my friend. Do you understand? Yes. understand? yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you are looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. Hmm. Ah! 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 
What's got him so bad? <coughs> I wonder what he's up. I wonder what's next. I wonder if he's being chased by someone. Welcome! What is I have he everything you'll ever need. So they've sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafiq has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. Altair, welcome! Welcome! I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. And have you devised... Let al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you're ready. And have you devised a way... To rid us of this blight? Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Your men have failed to fill the order. 
which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insults. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. God damn it! What? Oh, I'm so mad. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I am alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child.
has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Sheep gang. I'm so embarrassed about that assassination. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Alright, so... I want to be able to save this. Did I talk to Lucy yet? OG waifu. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. to get to work, Desmond? Alright, I'm not really sure how saving this works. We might have to repeat some of that dialogue in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, I want to apologize for that assassination I I just I, I have no 
I have nothing to say for myself. I just, uh, I beg your pardon. And, um, I assure you, in the future, I will, uh, assassinate my victims with more finesse. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.